Twitter today, people have people have showcased their love for what they do in every part of their life. And the aspect that I'll be talking about tonight is through conventions. Specifically, a couple of examples that I was targeted to are anime, Japanese animation, and video game conventions, also known as cons. <coughs> These are yearly gatherings of people who come from all across the world, all across the country, to be able to show their love and appreciation for these cultural experiences. You can be able to go to panels there, interact with other people, play the latest games, and also absorb the latest anime. There's a lot of these cons every year, just in the United States alone. They're very highly attended. They draw people all over the place. And if you do the numbers, this affects a lot of people only in the US. And of these people, there are, there are those who love the con experience so much that they end up embodying the identities of the characters that they love. And they appreciate it when you take photos of them. <laughs> these people are called cosplayers. It's a term for costume play or costume role playing. So people end up creating variations of characters, groups of characters that you can also interact with during organized photo shoots. Or you can pull a group away and ask for their picture, and they will pose actually as these characters for you. But what tends to happen at many of these things <coughs> is if you can see in the back there, many people tend to end up ignoring a lot of people. And this is the situation that I would like to address tonight. Now from an HCI perspective, this perspective can touch tons of our experiential studies here. What I'll be focusing on are identity and awareness. So what you're going to end up seeing is more on this identity. A trip to Rio Con, I'll actually bring you there through pictures. Talking to attendees, a celebratory design that brings everyone together attendees and cosplayers, an evaluation of this design, and a personal question from me to everyone out here in the audience. So, I did a lot to be able to grasp this type of situation, ranging from a literature review, learning how to cosplay myself, interviewing cosplayers, having a focus group of attendees, and also looking at designs that try to bring people together. So I'll start with identity. So through my independent study this semester, I've ended up studying throughout human history of how people end up using performance as a means to create their identities. It's been done throughout all human history and professional actors take lots of time to learn the gestures and shape their bodies to match their characters and identities they want to become. I also read from Goffman who presents this topic called Presentation of Self where we end up managing our identities wherever we go. So as a hypothetical question, if you were to come into a classroom, what would you be thinking about? What would you be saying? How would you be acting? As opposed to being in a cafe. Play has also ended up being a critical factor throughout the animal kingdom, through children, and through the sports realm into becoming our identities. We end up learning special skills to be able to end up surviving. Fashion is also linked directly to people's identity whether it's from showcasing your love of music, your religion, your status in the workforce, or your hatred for authority, it really shows who you are on the inside. Designers have been able to bring these concepts together through, through large public designs to be able to get people to start interacting with each other, whether it's at a cafe, in the workplace, or at home. So, I'm gonna take all of those concepts and show how they can be able to use this context of the con. So, <coughs> I learned how to cosplay myself, which I did not know coming into this design. So this is actually me. As the Japanese call my characters named Avil Nightroad-san, I am a priest who is a vampire who works for the Vatican. <laughs> and if, if I end up eating too much candy, cakes, anything sugary, I will actually end up back in the <laughs> Like I'm drunk. So, I had some experts lead me through how to personalize this character to fit me, not only for the pragmatics of the design, but for my attachment to the character. So what I really liked was first my face. I had makeup on, if you can't tell. And I also got my eyebrows tweaked to be able to match his eyebrows. <laughs> I also really liked this stole, as you can see, and this cape that likes to fall off. <laughs> so I also learned from 
the cohort, actually how to use a sewing machine and learn the art of costuming. It took over 50 hours to be able to build this whole ensemble that I'm learning tonight. So I took this wonderful costume and went to an actual con. I also went as a regular attendee, so I could be able to figure out this situation from both sides. And as a regular attendee, there was something holding me back. I don't know what, but I couldn't somehow muster enough courage to talk to some people. Sometimes I just had to force myself just to be able to talk to some of these people who I didn't even know. But as a cosplayer, I could ask for a photo, and it would be a night and day difference. They would be able to pose directly in front of me as if we've had this shared experience, and we actually acted like friends. And also, you can get people from the same anime to be able to pose. <laughs> And if you like people who are fans, they'll be able to put their love of the character onto you via hugs, shouting, or any other thing that they will do out of their death. So, to be able to get outside of what just happened to me, I also ended up interviewing cosplayers. I called them up over the phone since I, the only ones I could find were all across the country, and they had a range of expertise, ranging from a sewing machine knowledge to be actually being able to craft their own armor. And I wanted, wanted to learn the personal side of cosplay for them and what it really means to be a cosplayer. And here's what I found. For cosplayers, it is a way to showcase their design skills. And if it really reveals the person underneath, those are truly the best ones and they draw people to them. Cosplay is also a way to showcase your performing at talent. If you can be able to put yourself into the skin of another character, and show a good melding of the two, that's also another way for people to be drawn towards you. And above all, this is a way to show your love of this character and of this experience. To get from the other side of this perspective, <coughs> I ended up talking to attendees about their love and passion for cons. And I wanted to learn how they interact with cosplayers and what the con is really about for them. So here's also what I found out from them. They love going to cons because it's a way to bond with people who have the same interests, and it's also a way to network. They know a ton. If you, able, if you ask any questions to any of the attendees, they will give you hours and hours of knowledge that you may not even know or want to know. <laughs> <laughs> when they interact with cosplayers, they're much more likely to approach those who they've seen or played games of. And pictures are in story or a way of personalizing the con experience for them. And if they find cosplayers that have interesting costumes, they'll take pictures of them as well. So I also wanted to look at how current designs try to bring people together, strangers, other people alike. So currently with mobile technologies, they do a pretty good job of pairing people up. But that's all really about it. They don't really take into account the personal sides of how to actually start a conversation. It's sort of puts people together and asks them to do it on their own. Electronic fashion designers also use electronic fashion to showcase the identity of the wearer and use it as a way to bring people to them. Whether it's augmented reality cakes, Twitter controlled trees, or new touch technologies like the Mad Plus, people are drawn to these performing technologies that can be able to say, look what I can do, isn't this awesome? The group experiences are very, very interesting as well. There's a new trend of video game bars, reappropriation of vehicles for musical purposes, and museums are also reappropriating their grounds to bring adults, children, and strangers together to be able to celebrate their love and discovery of these things at museums. And I wanted to bring that in as well. Whether it's Guitar Hero uh, Christmas trees or Google Street View uh, performances, artists and designers have found ways to be able to showcase themselves through the designs that they know and love. So, I gave you a lot, I'm gonna spin it back and be able to give you what, what I found to be most important into the design process. Humans have been shaping their identities for long times, and there's many, many ways they've done it. In cosplay, it is this engagement with this character to the love of embodiment so whether you're a vocal goddess 